Hey guys, it's Neil again from Harder Texas Armory. And today I've got another red dot review for you guys. And the optic we're going to be talking about today is the Sig Sauer Romeo 7. And I really like this optic. I think it has a lot going for it. Uh, one of the main things that I like about this optic compared to some of the other red dots on the market is this thing is built like a tank. I mean, it is absolutely bomb proof <laughs> or it seems like it is just on the construction of it. Uh, so you're getting all the benefits of a red dot, you know, that two MOA dot, crisp reticle, impressive battery life, but they kind of just upgrade the housing here and just oversize everything. So uh, compared to like your micro red dots, it's going to, this optic here, the Romeo 7, it's going to be a little, little larger. So in the six hour line, they have the uh, Romeo 5s, which you should be seeing a little picture of what those look like, and also the Romeo 4s. Those are going to be SIG's micro red dots. Then they have the Romeo 7, which is this one, and then the 6, Romeo 6 series, which is basically an upgraded version of this one. Just like the 4 is an upgrade of this Romeo 5s. But, so you, you're going to gain a probably a more rugged and durable optic, but you're going to gain some uh, size and weight going with this Romeo 7. So you kind of have to pick and choose what you want from your red dot. If you want the more, you know, smallest and lightest red dot on the market, I'd suggest you look at the Romeo 5 or, or 4s. But uh, if you're kind of going, you know, durability wise, uh, this Romeo 7 might be a good option for you guys. So you can see it here mounted on this rifle. Um, and I'm going to take it off the rifle here in a minute. That way we can get a closer look at it. But I just wanted to show you guys how it mounts. You can see it's got a QD uh, lever, which is nice as well. Uh, it does have the flip-up covers, and we'll we'll show all this more in detail. But here's what it looks like on the rifle. And let me go ahead and pause this video, and we'll zoom in a little bit and take a look at the optic in a little more detail. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back here to take a look at this Romeo 7 here from Six Hour. So immediately off the bat, like I mentioned, this is just a little bit larger. Now, it's not huge, but it is, uh, it's a little bit bigger than your traditional micro dots. So... Let's go over the specs of this thing first. What you're looking at with this optic is um, basically the weight is 12.5 ounces. So considerably you know, heavier than your micros. Uh, those micro dots are typically, typically going to be between 5 and 7 ounces in most cases. So this is going to be a little over double that weight at 12.5 ounces. And again, um, you know, you're gaining weight, but you're also... Uh, gaining some other things that, that's an advantage for this optic but so the weight's 12.5 ounces your height top to bottom here is three inches so that's not too bad your width is two inches so this direction here uh, again not too too bulky uh, but the most obvious here is the length so your overall length you're looking at 4.75 uh, inches so so it's mainly in that area so the length and then the weight where you're going to you're going to gain quite a bit of uh, uh, you know, size factor compared to the micro red dots. But that's kind of a look at the specs here. Um, so what makes this thing so cool? So just looking at it here, we'll, we'll spin the optic around. You'll see that uh, it's got a lot of uh, features that uh, a lot of red dots don't offer. So you'll notice immediately these big turrets that are easy to operate, and they're protected by huge wings that protect those turrets so they're very well protected and look how thick that aluminum is there so you're really gonna have a hard, i don't think you'd ever be able to damage these turrets uh, both the windage and elevation are guarded you'll notice here on the side this this right here is your electronic system so that's where your battery is installed right here in the front and then in the back here is your uh, controls uh, which lets you turn the optic on and off so you know that's kind of unique too so this takes a double a battery so one AA battery, and what's very impressive about this optic is that on that one AA battery, SIG, SIG claims that you will get over 62,000 battery hours out of that one battery on medium setting. So that's an incredible amount of battery life uh, out of one AA battery, and that's very impressive. And in fact, it's one of the most uh, highest rated you know, op red dots on the market. Uh, you know, it's def there's a lot of them that are around between 20 and 50,000 battery life hours. This one goes up to the 62 and a half. So that's very, very impressive that SIG's able to do that out of one 
um, AA battery. And then on top of that, this optic, like all the SIG optics, the, the red dots at least, it has the SIG MOTAC. And what the MOTAC does is whenever this optic is doesn't sense any movement for after two minutes of no movement sensed, it will power down. And then the instant that you uh, grab the rifle or if it has a little bit of movement, if you bump the rifle, the optic turns immediately right back on to the last setting you had it set to. So that's going to even take that 62,000 battery life hours and prolong that even further because this thing will power down automatically and power back on automatically. So you basically never have to turn this thing off if you, if you, uh, if, if you wanted to. And that's how I would recommend you run this is just install it on your rifle or pistol and just leave it on. Uh, the battery life is that good. And with that MOTAC sensor, it's, uh, that's, it's an incredible uh, advantage right there over a lot of optics. So that's definitely a, a cool thing about this. Uh, you're looking at a one power scope with this, of course. So one by 30 millimeters is the size of the tube. Um, it, it does have a two MOA dot, which you should be seeing a little pop up right here, uh, what that looks like. And also I will pop in a video here uh, of me filming the reticle through the actual scope so you can see what that looks like you should be seeing that now it's a very crisp reticle two moa dot is what sig uh, claims with this uh, so you don't have the option to switch reticles with this particular optic like some of the other ones but uh that two moa two moa dots gonna do everything you need and to me it actually looks even smaller than two moa i don't know what it is this particular dot is just very crisp uh, it almost looks like a one or 1 1.5 it's very impressive uh, easy to make long range shots. Uh, if you pair this up with a magnifier, you could go out to, you know, three, 400 yards easily with this, in my opinion. Uh, so excellent job on the reticle with this. Um, you'll notice here that this optic does have a QD mount here, and this is the full co-witness uh, mount. It also comes with a low mount, so you can break that off. You can look underneath here that the, the little screws that they, that you break off and replace this uh, mount with the low mount if you wanted. So the, the standard co-witness mount here is QD. You'll see it has a little lever there. You have to pull before it'll open. So otherwise it will not open. If you pull that there, now it does open. Uh, it locks up really nice on the uh, on your rifle or, or whatever you're gonna mount this to, shotgun or something. Uh, very easy, I love having it QD. Uh, it holds zero just like any high-end optic will, but it allows you to uh, quickly remove it if you if you wanted to. Uh, it does come with these flip up caps that you see and they're very well done so you can flip them up really easily They're not too hard to pop off and they actually pop in you'll hear it right here Pops in real easy. You don't have to push real hard. Just very well designed. Uh, they got the SIG logo on those so uh, That's also a nice touch uh, And they are removable. So if you did want to take these off you can Pull them off just like that. We'll set those aside for now. So let me pull those off and set them aside and you can also remove this one if I can get it off it's a little tight bear with me guys it's like there we go all right so we got those off uh, so you can remove those flip ups if you if you decided you wanted to do that you'll notice the finish is very well done it's a nice looking optic uh, I think it just looks really cool uh, very futuristic looking and here's your tension where you can adjust the uh, QD tension for mounting it to your, to your rifle or whatever. You'll notice right there it says Romeo 7 uh, lasered into the, the side of the battery housing. Again, this is your um, controls here. So let's turn the optic on. Uh, it has a total of 11 brightness settings. So your bottom two will be night vision compatible. And then the remaining nine are your standard modes. Uh, most time I'm gonna run it, I'll, sh I'll probably on maybe like numbers five through seven. So we'll click through them. So here's zero, which is off all the way here, pointing uh, to that little dot. Uh, if we rotate it one time, the optic is on. You're probably not picking that up on camera because that is a night vision compatible mode. There's number two, also night vision compatible. Now we're on three. You may not be able to see that even. Four, there's the dot, I can barely see it now five and that's typically what i'm gonna run five or six uh there's six six is about perfect and that's kind of like the mid, mid setting there seven eight nine ten eleven so you can see it uh, gets pretty dang bright that 11 is it's like a fireball there's no point in going that high 
uh, like I said, between five and, and seven or eight or something like that, it's probably gonna be where you'll most of the time run this thing. Uh, again, it's a very crisp reticle. I like the controls, they're just very simple. Uh, I do like the push button controls that most uh, micro red dots run, but sometimes having something like this, just uh, it, it's just quick too, because you can just flip, flip it on real quick. Again, it will uh, power off automatically. Um, so it, you don't even have to turn it to the off position if you don't want to, you can just leave it on um, and it, it'll shut off automatically if it senses no motion. So very easy controls. You'll notice here, here is your uh, wind engine elevation turrets. They are tethered. Uh, so let me unscrew that. Bear with me one second, guys. Now that is one of the negatives, even though they are tethered. I find that the way they tether, tethered these turrets is kind of a pain. You can see I'm kind of having to hold it uh, because it's rubber and it can actually twist and bind up. So let me, let me unscrew this. Bear with me one second, guys. Again, this is kind of a pain. I wish they would use a different material than this rubber. But so there's your tur turrets uh, cap removed. You'll see it's tethered. You have the slot into uh, the cap so you don't have to worry about uh, having a screwdriver or something like that. And we'll bring it up and let you hear the clicks which are very tactile and also um, audible. So here we go. And it's very tactile and audible. Uh, in fact, it's probably out of any optic I've ever used, it feels the best. It's kind of a bummer that these turrets are kind of a pain to put back on. You can see how I'm holding it with my other hand, because uh, if you don't watch, it'll it'll kind of bind, see? And then when you try to spin it, it kind of fights you. So I kind of just hold it there, and you don't have a whole lot of room to, to rotate it, but you can get it from this angle here, and it's cranking down. So this, it's not that bad, but I wish they would I mean, you'll maybe use like a wire or something like that, like some of the other optics uh, companies use. Uh, so they are tethered, which is nice, but I wish they would improve that design maybe in a future generation. Um, so that's kind of a look at this optic. It's, it's definitely rugged and built. You can just look at it, how thick this thing is. It is it's incredibly durable how, how they built this. Everything is aluminum, of course. Uh, it's covered by SIG's lifetime warranty, so you don't have to worry about that with this. Uh, if anything ever goes wrong with it, SIG will take care of you. You don't even have to have a receipt. Now, if you want one of these, I suggest you contact me. My email is neil at Heart of Texas Armory. Get in touch with me and I'll let you know what kind of deal I can give you on these. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be an amazing deal. You will, you will be, not be sorry to contact me if you're in the market for one of these or any other optic. Just contact me and I'll, I'll let you know what kind of price I can give you. Um, speaking, since we talked about the turrets, I'll tell you that the, the adjustments are 0.5 MOA per adjustment. So this optic here is it's really nice. So let me go ahead and set the optic aside and we'll take a look at the box. All right, guys, so here's a look at the top of the box here. You'll notice it's the traditional uh, SIG red dot style box that they always provide. Here's a look at the side here. If you want to read the uh, text here, let me refocus my camera. So there's your features. We'll quickly let you look at that. I'll rotate the box around. They have this little text here, uh, which we'll refocus on that in case you want to read that. And then right over here is your model number there and then the back of the box has some other information you can take a look at right there so and we're going to go over that some of that information on the uh in the manual so you can see some of the technology that it, it applies here or right, this optic features excuse me all right guys so let's bust open the uh the box here and see what you get inside so tr typical sig box it's it's very high quality one of the best uh, presentations you're going to get in this, this price range uh, so you get a little piece of foam there to protect here's your manual so you'll see it also has a lens cloth in there we'll look at the manual here in a second uh, over here is your low mount so we'll pull that out let y'all look at that there is your low mount that you can replace uh, interesting that this one is not qd so that one is the uh, hex style nut uh, works just fine, but uh, it's strange that they didn't do a QD on the low mount as well. Maybe there just wasn't room to do it. I don't know, but there's your low mount. This slot here was the battery, which I've already installed in the optic. Uh, here's your kill flash. So you can uh, install a kill flash here into the uh, 
You can see it's threaded right there, hopefully, if the camera's in focus. You can thread that in there, which will break up the reflection if you wanted to do that. Uh, I typically don't use them because it makes the, it obscures the view a little bit, but it is there. Uh, here's some screws for mounting the uh, uh, low mount and an Allen key, and I guess that's about it. So there's a look at your box, and now we'll take a look at the manual real quick and close this video out, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are looking at the manual for the Romeo 7, so we'll flip through this quickly and let you take a look at it. Table of contents, which we don't need to worry about that. There's your introduction if you want to read any information on there. We'll continue on. Uh, your contents inside the box, which we went over. Here's some key features, so we'll quickly go over those. So uh, they got a high-performance coating on the, uh, the lens, 2MOA dot, MOTAC sensor, uh, QD mount. Now, here it says IPX8 rating on the waterproof rating. I believe this optic is actually a IPX7. The IPX8 is going to be with the Romeo 6, particularly the Romeo 6T. I'm assuming they must use a uh, similar manual, but this optic here is actually going to be uh, IPX7, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here it just tells you the height, which matches up to their magnifier, which is nice. Uh, there's your warranty. Uh, here's your controls, which you'll see here, A, B, C, D, and, you know, just so you can see what the parts are. If you're interested, all pretty self-explanatory. We'll continue on here. Uh, here's how you install the battery. Tells you which direction here, so keep that in mind. So it says here, uh, remove cap, insert AA battery, positive in first. Negative should be facing outward. So the plus goes to, toward this direction here. Here's how to turn it on and off. Pretty self-explanatory. We already went through all that. Uh, mounting of the sight, if you wanted to read through that. Sight adjustment, so if you wanted to know how to adjust the sight, here's some information for you. Again, it's 0.5 MOA per click. Your maintenance, we don't need to worry about that. Troubleshooting, we don't need to worry about that. There's your warranty, which uh, infinite guarantee on the uh, optic. And then they have the five-year electronics warranty. Here is some specs for you guys. So again, we got a 1X magnification, two MOA dot, 30 millimeter tube, uh, you got nine daytime brightness to night vision compatible. There's your height. There's your adjustment rating. So there you go, plus or minus uh, 50 MOA on your windage and uh, elevation, which is nice. Your weight of 12.5 ounces. Battery is AA and again, IPX8. I, I'm thinking this one is IPX7. It could be eight. Um, I'm just not sure on that. I was a little confused. Their website shows IPX7 for this optic. The manual shows IPX8. Maybe it is eight, but... Uh, I would just uh, be careful and maybe contact Six Hour on that. There's your dimensions we talked about. So it shows you the overall dimensions, and that should be about it. So, yeah, this optic here, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by it. I think it's, it's, it's definitely worth looking at if you're in the market for a red dot. Um, it's got a lot going for it. I mean, it's a little big and heavy compared to some of the micros, but uh, the ability to run AA batteries is nice. The battery life is impressive. How durable this thing is. Uh, it's got a lot going for it. I really like the controls back here, uh, how you operate it. It's just very simple. Uh, it comes with a good set of caps, uh, flip-up caps, which we looked at. Uh, it's got a kill flash that comes with it. Uh, the incredible battery life. I mean, it's it's definitely a, a, a worthwhile red dot for you to take a look at. And it's going to compare, really, with uh, the Aimpoint Pro, uh, as well as you know the Romeo 6 series. You should, you should take a look at those as, as well. But this seven, I, I really, I really like it. Uh, I tend to lean more toward the micro dots, but uh, I, man, I would not feel uh, the disadvantage running this on my rifle if I wanted to. So, hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this video review of this optic. If you have any questions on it, feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer those. And once again, y'all guys take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.